Howard Fu is a retired anesthesiologist, which means he's an expert at relieving pain, whether it be in preparation for surgery or general pain management. His route to the diaconate began when he realized that often others are suffering from a much deeper spiritual pain because they don't know Christ. Physically, I relieve the pain from the patient, mm -hmm. but spirituality, you know, mm -hmm. I need to do something mm -hmm. too, you know. Mm -hmm. And my pastor told me, if you become a deacon, you could do it that way, mm -hmm. to relieve the suffering and pain in their spirit. In less than a month, Mr. Fu will be ordained a permanent deacon alongside 18 classmates. Permanent deacons preach the gospel and preside at baptisms, weddings, and funerals. They sometimes take on the role after other life vocations, including marriage and fatherhood. Mr. Fu was not born Catholic and credits his wife for his conversion. He hopes to ease the spiritual pain of his faithless friends through his new ministry. We all create by God, you know, and uh, God is everywhere. We don't have faith and we don't have a guide to live our life. And that's, that's pretty, sometimes pretty miserable, you know. Only the faith could guide our life. One of Mr. Fu's classmates, Neri Escobar, has also learned much about God through medical experiences. Just over a decade ago, his eldest son, Julio, suffered kidney failure. It was then that Mr. Escobar learned the value of sacrifice. I donated this, the, my kidney to, to my son, mm. and it's the way they exactly in the, in the Thanksgiving Day in 2003. Uh, he had the kidney. But this was not the end of their family's sacrifices. Five years later, when Julio's transplanted kidney began to fail, his younger brother Ricardo volunteered his. He not think twice to do something for his brother. Mm -hmm. And now the three of us, we have only one kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Escobar says that after he is ordained, he will not be the only one serving the Brooklyn Diocese. His entire family is ready and willing. We see a lot of miracles in our family. Mm -hmm. And this one with my, my son is another one. Now is the time to give it thanks to the, to the Lord for all the mm -hmm. things happening in our life. And the best way to do is to serve Him. That service will begin when Mr. Escobar and his 18 classmates are ordained May 23rd. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Bradenbaugh.